lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear of American Union And you know what? When my brothers bring the word out, when the fake pimp was up here, everybody ran over here. Thought this was just a show. Give me Proverbs 1 and 16. Give me Jeremiah 4 and 2 and 22. Y'all think this is just a show, man. This is not for no show, man. We ain't out here sucking and jiving, man, for y'all. We out here bringing dust to the Lord, man. Y'all people got to come up out of that, man. Read it up. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 16. Uh-huh. For their feet run to evil. Because that's what they do. They run to evil. They love to see somebody out here doing something crazy. Hey, sister, you know we dealt with you, sister. We're waiting for you to get yourself right, sister. I got it right, I think. No, you don't, sister. Break it out, huh? I'm first rest of my life. But what about today, sister? That's right. What about the rest of your life, sister? I'm going to be right. No, look here. You ain't lied to me. You lied to the Lord, sister. Because we bring the dust at the Lord out. Okay, we sending you water from him. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 11 right quick, huh? For destruction. Yes, that's what we bring it. That's what we bring to America. Warning for destruction. Our people think this is a joke. Read. And make hate to shed blood. Because that's what they want to do. They run and they make hate to shed blood. Guess what? They rather kill a Negro. He a hero. You kill a Negro, you a loser. Right. You a two-time loser. One thing about us, man, we will defend ourselves, man. That's right. Ezekiel 3 and 11. We will defend ourselves. Give me Proverbs 8 and 16. We're going to show you something. Because when Negroes think they can run over here and think that the prophets of the Most High is going to back down, we don't back down, man. Right. Right. Hey, bro, what you doing about it on the Sabbath, bro? Huh? Put something on your stomach. See, bro, you got to prepare for this day, bro. That's what the Lord said. Give me, uh, matter of fact, hold that. Give me, uh, uh, what's that? Isaiah 58 and uh, 13 right quick. Bring it out, huh? Let me bring this statement out. Before we get into the scriptures, try to edify our brother and all the people around and listen. We teach the word thus at the Lord. This is not these Christianity churches and these Catholicism churches. Either they can run over here and say and do anything that they want to do to us. We will defend ourselves. Let's see what the Bible say about that, man. Read this out. This is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. Give me Proverbs 281. Read. A fool's lips enter into contention. Because guess what? When they come running over here, these fools' lips, they enter into contention, man. Read. In his mouth calling for stroke. What does his mouth call for? Stroke. What does his mouth call for? Stroke. So I let you know. If the promise of the most are we are here teaching God said the Lord. We're not going to back down from nobody. That's right. We're not scared of nobody. You look at that man down here will lay their life down on the line. That's Any right. day, man. That's right. There's no cowards around here, man. When you see us, we are still men, man. We bring dust at the Lord. Not just the day. It's every day of our lives y'all see us still men, man. Come on. You don't see these friends just swinging for nothing. We Come do on. this thing, man. Come we on. live this thing, man. That's right. That's right. That's dust at the Lord, man. Uh, give me a uh, Proverbs 281. Work it out. Jeremiah uh, 8, 3. Y'all brothers and sisters, man. Y'all should be getting this word, man. No, I was just going to say Jeremiah. Y'all should be getting this word, man. Y'all should be getting this word. We out here for y'all, man. Brother, brother, brother. You come out here every week after week. We talk to you, brother. You can have the no, no girl with you all the time. We remember faces. Hey, bro. Can I we call you out. Bro, after that day, that Saturday, that's the verse that had made me wake up and tell you all this. Jeremiah 8.3, chapter 8. 
Please, bro. I'm telling you, that was bro. Much, bro. I hope all the verses wake yeah. everybody up, bro. We ready bro. to go home, brother. Yeah, right. we out here doing the work, yeah. but we ready to go home, brother. Yeah. Bro. Come on, bro. We, works, this is Jeremiah, chapter eight, verse three. Uh -huh. And death shall be chosen rather than life. Cause that's what a lot of our people choose. When you choose to celebrate these holidays, when you choose to, ch to pick America over your God, when you choose the other nations over your God, when you choose not to follow the law, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God, right? This is what the Lord said you choose it. And death shall be chosen rather than life. Free. By all the residue of them that remain of this evil family. Because that's what these people like to do. Guess what? He had to kill off. He had to kill off all the people. He had to kill off a, a nation of Israel before he left to go to the promised land. Right. He's gonna kill off two thirds of our people. It's prophesied in the Bible. Right. Our churches don't teach that. Right. You bring any one of y'all Christian pastors, your Baptist pastors, your Muslim pastors, bring any denomination or religion out here. I say this every week, and we chew their ass up like ball guard with this Bible, man. That's right. It's no joke for us, man. We do this, man. That's right. Y'all looking at the real Bible scholars, man. That's right. They can't teach you how to read this Bible, but we go preach up upon preach up. Preach up upon preach up. Line upon line when we bring that thing, man. That's, That's right. right. Read that up. 181, read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. The Bible said that he that turned his ear from hearing the law, the Lord read. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. The Bible said even his prayer is going to be an abomination, man. We didn't make that thing up, man. That's what the Lord said, man. That's right. Because with this Bible, that's how we do. We whoop that ass with that Bible and we teach it ass with that Bible, man. That's right. We ain't coming for our own vain words. We got families too. We got wives too. We got children too. Right. But we're going to teach them just said the Lord. Because in our household, better actors, we will serve the Lord. That's right. We will serve the Lord, man. That's right. Bro, you got some questions, bro? Bro, I see you got something on your heart, man. We out here, man, to heal the broken heart. That's right. But you got to do what the Lord say to do, brother, because that's what we read at the Bible. Everything we come in scriptures out of our mouth, brother. What you got? I do have a question. So, the Bible being wrote, um, do y'all believe in a Yoruba teaching? A what? A what? In a Yoruba. Yoruba. A Yoruba. You talking about, like, the people? No. A religion is talking like the religion? Brother, the Bible never gave you religion. From Genesis 1 to Revelation 2, 22 and 21, it never gave us a religion, bro. So since the, since the beginning of time, since English got started, it's always been labels. So there's a label on everything. So That's right. in, in a certain aspect, yes, religion, but it's not religion. Brother. The Most High God never gave us a religion, period. It's not a religion. Okay, it's never gave us a seat. He only gave us law. Uh, so, okay. it, so, so, what I'm saying is, I do believe in what the Bible teaches, but I'm not going to say that I'm a Christian. We, we don't say we're Christian either. Okay. We say we follow the laws of the Most High God. He yes. give us a law, we do it. He tell us we can't eat pork, we don't eat pork. He tell us don't shave our beard, we don't shave. We say we can't hold our sisters. He said don't have hold our sisters out, we don't do that. He said what he fringes every day on our garment. We do that, bro. We live. This ain't just a one day, one day thing. Being a Israelite is a lifestyle, brother. That's right. It's a lifestyle. It's by blood. It's not it's a not a religion. Oh, I want to be a Israelite tomorrow. No, it's by bloodline, brother. My question is a little bit more deeper than, than what you're what you're seeing. See, I mean, because I'm telling you why it's a little bit more deeper. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. Watch this, bro. Read it. The book of Ruth, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of commandments of God. What is it? What is it, bro? This is the book of the commandments of God. That's it, and that's all of you, bro. Read. And the law that endureth forever. That's all it is. The law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. Uh -huh, but read but such as leave it shall die. That's what it is, bro. This is the book between 
life and death. This is a book of laws that'll give you the choice between life or between death, bro. Hey, sister, just got it for you too, sister. Oh, man. Sister, you choosing death. She got death on her bro. I'm going to say this. Um, yeah, yeah, hold up for a second. I believe that everybody's a God. Believe. I believe give me, everybody, give me the, uh, everybody. I'm an ATC. Yeah, we are gods, bro. We are gods. Yes, no, no, not every nation. Not every, exactly. But us, as the Israelites, we God. Yeah, that's true. The Bible says we are God. We're going to read that for you. Read this up. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Now, come on, brother. It's for you too. You've been walking around for a long time. Cool on the other side of the pole. Come on down here, man. Preach it up. I have said, you are God. You did? The Bible says you are God, man. But check this out, though. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. So we all are children of the Most High, man. Read. But you shall die like men. And we gonna right. die like a man, bro. Read. And fell like one of the princes. And this was what's gonna happen, bro. The Bible said that we are God. But guess what? You ain't the God that can raise up the sun. Let down the sun, raise up the moon, bring the, the day into submission and bring night. You're not that God. But you are God. But you will die like a man. That's right. Amen. Reach it up. This is Psalm 115, verse 1. Uh -huh. Not unto us, O Lord, mm -hmm. not unto us, but unto thy name give glory mm -hmm. for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Because that's what we try to do. We're trying to give glory and honor to the Most High God. So when we say giving our honor and praises to the Most High God, guess what? I ain't talking to one of these Negroes walking around here or Hispanics or Native Americans. Come. We talking to the Most High God, the one that can, that can kill the body and the soul, not the one that can kill the body, bro. You understand that? See, the thing is, you looking at what you said, brother, it's being not part of religion, but it is, brother. Because any time that it's not coming out the Bible, brother, it's something made about me. So, it's a religion, brother. The Arisha teachings, that began before the Bible was written. The Arisha teachings... Well, how can you prove that? It, it, it came through our ancestors. It, what it, ancestors it come from? So if, if you go back to the African tribes, all the tribes, all the different tribes, uh, they had... See, you, you had... Look, look. You had it going, bro. But you see what? You got lost, bro. Sorry. You got lost, bro. I, I got lost, but... I, 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 look here. I'm not trying to let you force feed our people, but I know where you go. I know where you go. I'm going far back. I'm going further. See, but the thing is, I'm asking you something. Who is the God of Melchizedek? Okay, let's go even farther. Who is the God of Enoch? Okay, let's go back even farther. Who is the God of the first Adam? What about the second half? You see that, brother? That's going too deep. People gonna drizz out, brother. We can come through the Bible and go deep as you want to go. So you better repent, leave that eat right alone. So and all these beautiful black men around here, so-called black men, and you ready to choose a dog, you gonna wake up with fleas, sister. Brother, we can go deep into the Bible, brother. We can break the Bible down. And the religion that you're trying to go to, brother, it cannot stand up against the Most High God and His prophet. Right! There's no prophecy out of the book that you claim that it is, brother, that can hold up to the Bible. And you know that, and I both, and I both of us know that. Guess what? I knew, I, you look at, I could touch on it, and I could have touched on it too. But I'm going to tell you something, brother. Look, you don't deal in it because, no, when this Bible says it's going to happen, you, come, you catch your ass lucky gold strike. It's gonna happen, brother. That's right. Now, I'm gonna say this. Now, I'm gonna correct you one. I'm not, I'm not going for any religion. Uh -huh. I'm going for a culture. You go. Look, look, look. I, stand, I stand for our brothers and sisters. We do too. We do too. Simple. But guess what? You stand for a culture that's divided, brother. You're not standing for a culture that's together. That's the problem. This Bible is gonna bring us together in one nation, brother. Right. Since the ages of Babylon, it's always been divided. Right. Because what? He divided the nation, not Israel, brother. That's right. That's the thing. 
we go back to the Bible, guess what? As it is written, he's going to bring us back together in one nation so we can move the planet, brother. That's the whole thing. It won't be this nation. This nation is cursed. We're going to fucking think. But yeah, we, we uh, look at this nation is cursed. But guess what? Brother, you know, you 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 know, you don't really know what you're talking about, but you can hit on it. You got a zeal of it, but not according to knowledge, bro. Uh, Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 21. Uh -huh. Produce your call. That's what the Bible says. So guess what? You should have brought your book with you, brother, because you came to a, or you came to a, a, a girl fight with a, with, a, with a slingshot, brother. Read. Say it's the Lord. Say it who? Say it's the Lord. See, brother, you got to produce your call. So we're going to go in the Bible, and I wish you had your book. We're going to chew that thing up, brother. That's what we, we, we offer anybody to get your religion. Go bring your books. Go get your Bible scholars. We're going to show y'all how the real Negroes read the book and dissect everything that y'all got, man. That's right. Bring, bring forth your strong reason. See, brother, you got to bring forth your strong reason. So next time you have a book like this, that you see us standing up, pull it up. I'm, I am standing of the book. Well, I'm, I'm being We are standing of the book, too. I'm, I'm just simply So any man. So you telling me you can read any book right now and repeat it verbatim? It's not easy. You're talking to the loudspeaker coming at me. Brother, this is our platform. For that, for that heat in my spirit, I, I have no weakness. Let me do a round of 254. <laughs> 28, 28, brother. I don't know what. You said you have no weakness, brother. You have no weakness. So if I go get a stick and hit you in your leg, there's no weakness in you. That, now that's physical. I'm talking about the mental. But the mental. Simply having a conversation. That's what, brother. Brother. The thing is, you're destroyed, brother, because the knowledge is not there, brother. Breathe it. Say the king of Jesus. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. That bring forth your strong reason. Let's both set a fire on the earth right here and see who God's going to put one out. Trust me, ever since I've been back in Dallas, Texas, I've been seeing y'all on the street. So that, next time, okay. I'll oh, Where are you from, brother? I'm from Dallas, Texas. So where, where, where you been? Well, they took some lies in Virginia, because guess what? You brought your ass back in the balance control, and you have to get this fight. Right. Let them show the form of things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them. See, what? Show us the form of things and show us the things in the latter end that's going to happen. Right. Nothing can do it but this Bible, brother. Read. Or declare us things for to come. Declare us things for to come, brother. Read. Show the things that are to come hereafter. Show the things that's going to come hereafter. So we know that the ain't the chance is gonna be in the sky. And that big black man crack that sky. That's right. See? That's what the problem is. That's you don't believe that that's gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. But what if some don't believe, read? That we may know that ye are God. Say ye are gods, man. We are the we are the gods of this planet, man. That's, that's right. what the Bible said, man. We didn't make that thing up, man. Read. Yay, do good or do evil that we may be dismayed or behold it together. Cause guess what, brother? The dismay in your mind, yeah? But brother, you gonna see us, we holding our eyes together up here. That's right, priest. Yes. Verse 24, uh -huh. behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of not. See, brother, the stuff that you're doing, your work of not, and it makes you nothing, brother, because they didn't prosper you none. Let's you better get in this book and read, brother, read. And a, an abomination is he that chooseth you, brother. You know what I stand for or what I Brother, you just told me what you stand for. You just told me exactly what you stood for, brother. Do not pass measures, no tap dancing, no none of this, brother. We get to the mission, brother. This is to the invite. Trust me, I, I, I believe. I'm all for Too late, too late. Uh, give me Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah, I read that. Read it. This is Deuteronomy verse 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Because sometimes our brothers come up here and they think that they can overshadow the Bible with their knowledge. It's not going to happen, brother. That's right. It's not going to happen. You... <laughs> Let's go back. You Let's go back. Question. It looks like you have something on your heart. I was like, all right, I guess I can speak out. Yeah, That's I'm, all I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not trying to smite y'all. No, we need to look at, we ain't trying to smite you neither. though. Guess what? If my brother say something to me, I got an obligation for the Most High God to bring correction to him. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3 and give me verse 11. So like verse no, no, no. We're not looking for the fight. We're looking for to bring correction to our people. There's no correcting. See, 
Hold on. You know, is correct. Is at the beginning of time, yes, Adam and Eve was born. They were supposed to watch over. So, let me ask you a question. Let me finish. Let me finish. Uh -huh. Adam and Eve were supposed to watch over the Garden of Eden, right? Okay. Then they then Eve ate the, the forbidden fruit. So, what you don't know? Knowledge, knowledge, all this stuff that y'all are reading, everything that started with knowledge is evil. So, the more that we learn, Brother, more that's that we, all like a mug, the man. more that we learn, the more that we advance, we're killing. We're supposed to originally watch over the earth, watch over the planets, but guess what? We're killing the earth by building no. trees, having cars. So, the nation. You're killing the earth by building these things up. That's the only way you can have correction. That is the only way we can have correction. No, the only way we can have correction is follow God's laws, statutes, and commandments, brother. Right. right. See, the thing is, it's going to be a continuous contradiction. See, the thing is, it's not continuous contradiction. The Bible is not a contradiction. The, 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 when people read the Bible, this is the problem. I think the Bible contradicts. It's not the Bible, it's you. It's man. It's you. Man. Brother, ain't you a man? Man. Ain't you a man? Me. Man. Are you a man? Man. See, man. Here. You want to play the game? Here. Are you a man or not, brother? Teach him to rebuild cars. Come on, man. I'm I'm teaching you, it, I'm man. I'm going to go to Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See, we come out facts too. Okay. We want to prove some facts in the Bible that doesn't happen. Give me Zechariah 11 and 5. We're going to show you. This is facts we read out. We wrote, we didn't write this, man. This is facts we read out. We can show you some. Read the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. Watch this, brother. I'm going to show you something. Because I don't want the Lord to reject you. I want you to get some knowledge, brother. 11 and 5, read this. This is Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessors slay them. Hey, brother, you don't believe in the Bible, bro? I see you shaking your head. Y'all just come on over and get some of this word, man. Bible don't believe that this thing is real, man. No other book is sent up to the Bible, man. God. None should want her mate, man. God. The Bible says, whose possessors slay them. Read this. And hold themselves not guilty. This is not happening to us. This is not this is not happening to us in America. Break it out, huh? Let's read this again from the top. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? He said, "Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty?" Do your Bible? Can your Bible see a prediction or a prophecy that anything is going to happen to us? Come on, we. That's what we want you to do, Frank. <laughs> I want to read your strong read. Yeah, I got the floor. I'll let y'all read. I read have four of your strong read. This is Khalil Gibran. Yes. Come on with it. All right. Come on with it. Watch this. Which, which part you want me? I'm not going to read the whole thing. Just look, at, just look at the creation. It's poems. So look at the creation. So you want me to read them? He going to debunk the Bible. It's spirit. It's spirit, though. With a book, a poem. Brother. We're going to read a little bit. That's he said, but God separated a spirit from himself and fashioned it into, it into beauty. He showered upon all the blessings of gratefulness, gracefulness and kindness. He gave her a cup up and happiness and said, drink up. Come on, man. Give me a uh, first Corinthians. Give me first Corinthians. Yeah, hold that. Give me first Corinthians. Uh, 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 give me the breaking the bread. First Corinthians. And that. that is one of the mini books that I read. No, no, no. We're going to show you what this guest is from, bro. I know, I know where it got it. No, you don't. First Corinthians with 11, 23. Watch this. He said, give her, give her, he said, give her the cup of happiness. He said, drink not from the cup unless forget the past and the future for happiness not for the moment. Watch this. The book of First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Uh -huh. Wherever I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break, said, take Eat, this is my body which is broken of you. This do me, this do you in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he also took the cup which he had sipped, saying, This is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft 
as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Read on, huh? For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, uh -huh. ye, ye show the Lord's death till he come. Uh -huh. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily uh -huh. shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Brother, that's all it's getting off of our Bible, bro. Every poem in here, guess what? If we turn to another poem, it ain't gonna do nothing but keep going to slice this thing up. Our Bible is getting it from our book. You ready for war, dude? Got a Read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. That's what it is. Read the last book. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. So, what does that mean? That means as much as we study. Hey, but I like the gear, but come on, get some yeah, word, man. That's knowledge, that's gear. Guess what? That's that, that's all Guess what? No, 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 no. That's, that's all that's what I'm saying. Check this out. You missed it. That's a part of you missed it. Start from the top. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. Now, there is no end. It said, be admonished at making many books. You think it's just a Bible? It's talking about making many books. It's not talking about the Bible, That's brother. Right. Reading other books except this, brother. Right. Read. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. We're not going into other books. It's much weariness of the flesh, That's brother. Right. This is the only two books that you need to be leaning on, brother. That's what the Bible's talking about. See, I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Go to Revelation 1 and 3. This is the book of Revelation. This is what the Bible talks about reading the Bible. I'm going to show you what the Bible talks about reading the Bible. Read this out. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Blessed is he that read it. What the Bible say? Blessed, Blessed is, is he, he that read it. So now it's a contradiction here, right? This is not the Bible contradiction. It's us that don't want to honor not to understand it. Don't get into the other books with all those different studies because they make you lean and go away from your God, brother. You need to be reading the Bible, brother. Read. And that they hear the words of this prophecy uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein. Because guess what? The, all the prophecies that we're reading to you, brother, we read the prophecies of the Bible. We're not reading something that we made up. This is in the Bible, brother. Read. For the time is at hand. Because the time is at hand. We ain't just out here just teach for you, brother. It's for any, anybody, lotty dotty, everybody who needs to hear this Bible, brother. Because right. we prophesied to the nation. Guess what? All nations going to join us to the kingdom. And like, right. oh man, he actually said that. They're going to have to cleave to us as right. servants and handmaids, brother. We are the kings and princesses of the Bible, brother. We are the, we are the rulers of the world. But we got to do what the Lord said do, brother. That's the thing. We can read those other books. It's the non-effect, though, brother. Read this out. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Mm -hmm. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The Bible says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. It said none of these shall fail, brother. None gonna want her mate, brother. This Bible don't need no mate. It's this is it's all by itself, man. So what about the what about the books that are not in the Bible? Come on, Pop. We got those, bro. Oh, man, let me have them. We got the <laughs> that's, that's it right there, bro. We got the we ain't we ain't got no I told you you get the Bible scholar, but you literally looking at the Bible scholars out here, bro. But oh, we won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear, been to war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle axis. Yeah, I swear.